Okay, so sorted through my mail and all that level 10 stuff I unlocked. So got vehicles now. Oh. If you're noticing a difference, let's just say I'm testing out certain settings that uh, my the thing that comes with my graphics card, it then does this thing where it evaluates games with my specs and goes, hey, this is the settings that we recommend. So testing out to see how it goes. What's interesting is you'll notice I went to stealth and it's not exactly hiding me. But that's fine. Hot. Rise and shine. <laughs> A species of large amphibious gastropods, huts are noted for their vast appetites and widespread cultural involvement in organized crime. Their bodies average three meters in length with large eyes and wide mouths offset by comparatively small upper appendages. Corpulence is a favorite trait among huts who believe that greater body mass indicates greater success and riches. Although huts are biologically hermaphrodites, many take on the gender roles of other species. Scientists and sociologists sociologists disagree on the reason for this. Huts are also considered one of the longest lived species in the galaxy, with several documented individuals living for more than 1,000 years. Culturally, huts favor entrepreneurial pursuits over direct action or labor. A vast number of these pursuits are based on illegal activities, with some hut clans constructing vast criminal empires that operate across numerous worlds for centuries at a time. <clears> there <throat> we go, now it's working. Aha. Let's get rid of the security camera, shall we? I'm wondering about these cameras, if they're going to actually respawn or not. Because I think that other agent player took down the cameras that I wanted to take down for my bonus. But it looks like there's probably more in this room. Huh. 
There we go. I guess the enemies in here could drop the codes. You and me, we're getting good. <laughs> Okay, there's one of the codes. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. He has the Darth Malgus Hollow statue. the codes. I think later on we can actually get an ability that gives us movement speed boost even while we're stealthed. This is one of the reasons why a lot of people loved playing rogues in World of Warcraft, so you could just stealth and just kind of sneak by trash you didn't want to bother fighting. Because it's like, ugh, I don't want to have to fight these things. Your sight will return soon. You got this, Hunter. You and me, we're getting good. Rise and shine.
malambiamgin ham gam ne ape kabraka mana la yang perlo amka kalami naya kira nubua hello non what brings you down here father finally order you to check out the shooting nuli lak apa jam kamgram amka nem nang nemua inuk ne kali ruma mereka baka lebik ruma i like that about you non you only bet on a sure thing naya memgem kaligam Nam karak naya memak. I take it you two know each other? Nan wanted me for himself when I got to Hara. He couldn't afford me. Laporam amka, mamni nikag, nagnaya mamni kamgram. I'll tell you what, why don't we make a deal instead? Karakimi, a nikag nikag, kanyak gak akiguamjam. You've got to be kidding. We can kill Nan. Even make it past his guards if we're lucky. I'd rather not count on luck. If we can negotiate, let's negotiate. Ugh, fine. The blade does have a point, Nan. Fathra really doesn't trust you. Did he warn you he was going to kill Carol's Javis? Manalak lucky, napi nekamaraka. Don't be stupid. Fathra set you up to take the blame. He kills Carol's, Nemro kills. Guess who? Lamya ke kana. Bumi nepe. With Carol's Javis dead, Nemro's going to need a new advisor. Why not abandon Fathra and join the other side? Nibagamaka nakanaya, bilak mamua kalebek. Manala yang perlu, amka kalami naya kira nubua. Just get out of here. Don't cause me any trouble. Mamni lebek bak manuk, meraka naja ki namabamyak. So anyway, back to what we came here for. That's it then. Better hope your boss knows how to make a convincing forgery. Of course. There's going to be a bloodbath once Nemro and Tothlogen see what's on the disc. How do you know what's on the holodisc? All I know is what your keeper told us. But I'm not stupid. If that disc really names all of Fathra's business partners, it probably identifies half the people in Jaguna. Merchants, gangsters, debtors, the usual scum. When Nemro gets a hold of it, He'll want revenge on anyone who dared to go to Fathra behind his back. There'll be bodies clogging the gutters for weeks. What are you up to, Kalia? I wouldn't think you'd care what Nemro does. I don't, but I thought you might. If you're feeling queasy, you could always erase the extra data and scratch up the disc. Make it look like only the doctored recording miraculously survived the damage. So, we deliver Keeper's forgery without the real data. Nemro doesn't get his revenge spree. The risk is that Tothlogen figures out you erase the good stuff. This is another amusing light side choice. Look at this. We'll chance it. It'll be fun. That's light side? Really? Like, there are times that when I've played through this game, and I've looked at these choices, and I thought to myself, I want to sp speak to the people who were on the team... At, uh, at Bioware who were part of the the team that decided what would be the light side and dark side choices. And I want to just like talk to them about what their reasoning and line of thinking was when it came to evaluating these and deciding that these would be the choices and that these choices would be considered either light side or dark side. Just that doesn't come across to me as a light side choice, you know? <laughs> There's no need to let Nemro carry out a massacre. We'll be as careful as we can. Your call, Agent. I knew I'd learn something. Hold on. Let, let's 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 try the other one. See what uh, Kaleo okay. says. How, if, what, I if so erasing the data is risky. I thought you enjoyed a little risk. Who says I don't? I'll do the damage. We'll see how far we can take this con. Now let's get that thing to Tothlogen and see what happens. So she approved that. She usually does tend to, um, I think she does tend to, um, favor dark side choices more than light side. So now let's just go ahead and fast travel back here. Like, she's not, like, evil. She's, like I said, 
a lot of kind of reminder of Jack, but sort of, but not really. It's it's a little bit more complicated than that. There's some interesting nuance to Kaleo that I think, uh, that uh, I just find kind of interesting. Well, 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 look who's here. You're... We the guy. What, here's... You and me, we're getting good. And we're just getting started. Just wait until later. I only decided to try this out because it's called the Chiss Talon Interceptor. And I'm a Chiss, so... Otherwise, I'd just be using the jetpack because it's a jetpack. You and me, we're getting good. Rise and shine. Hello, Tothlajan. The Red Blade claims to have something to show you. Manchi do ti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. Mokili mo klunki, nik mi chawa wilmo. I stole these recordings from Father's Palace. Take a look. Chobut e kafstuan dile ji hulo kuta. Kliskataka, ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Nakma no ya chuski na wiku chusu, yo mata chitoya. Kapakunga, chisa bijabongi chikatoko. You'll need help to stay competitive, but the Republic does have enemies. They might be useful. Mi pikasa na shura, va fa Wanda umba murira bamba bura. Imache churon chika jiliska chanaga. Jiliska tananga ime chai jo ron chika. Is there anything else I can do for you or your clan? Tonda hoyachi. Tobata ji moa tusawa. Mikuna posta morulia. Jipawa do loda muma. You know, back in the day, I used to be so concerned about approval and disapproval for companions because sometimes it was just a bit of a chore to try and, uh, you know, work it up and use gifts to raise it. But now it just seems much easier, especially with uh, you can get gifts to get I approval shine. just out the wazoo, just everywhere. The deed is done, Agent. Nemro is already contacting Imperial Embassies, looking to establish relations. He'll be eating out of our hands within the month. In the short term, our chemical and stimulant stockpiles will nearly double. In the long term, we're a step closer to bringing all of Hutter under Imperial control. I'll make my full report to Darth Jadis shortly. I expect he'll be very pleased with our work. You mean my work? I had to cozy up to the huts. I'm the one who got results. Don't overestimate your importance. This operation required the attention of dozens of men. You didn't do it alone. <laughs> Not quite what I was going for. Tor effect! Assuming he's satisfied, does that mean Jadis will leave Imperial Intelligence alone? I wouldn't assume anything at this juncture. Besides which, that isn't your concern. Your mission is now complete. There's a shuttle waiting for you in Jaguna. It will take you to Drummond Cass. Once you've arrived on planet, report to Imperial Intelligence Headquarters in the Citadel. I'll debrief you there. Don't make me jump through bureaucratic rings. If you want another assignment, you will follow orders. Khalil, you will also report to Drummond Cass. I assume Nemro won't be surprised by your sudden disappearance. He'll be hurt, 
but no one will be surprised that I left with the blade. It is certainly not the first employer you've walked out on. In any hmm. case, I'll expect to see both of you soon. Hold on. Who else has Kaleo betrayed? This isn't the time or place for that, Agent. Report to the shuttle as soon as possible. Keep her out. I'm using Kaleo approved that question. I guess she's like, oh, good, you're concerned and curious about who I've walked out on before. You should be. Almost like she's trying to get us to be more, like, aware of these things. Now, before we make our way towards the fleet and start uh, preparing to go to Droman Kass, I'm not planning on going Rise quite yet shine. personally because I want to do some of the heroics that are here. You know, XP, gear, credits, stuff like that. Although I did just send you know this character quite a bit of credits, so... But let's just say doing these... By the way... This takes you straight to the entrance of those, which is great. But look at this. Jeeg, I wasn't expecting to hear from you again. Oh. You told me the real blade was far away. What's he found out? I appreciate the advice. I told G I Parkale Tiam Jamas. Gratai up tick de Irocrit Viltini Savasia Sabi Kages. Yeah. We'll see about that. What's it today? So Amora, a whole planet full of weapon factories, and they still need more. Let's go intercept this blade, shall we? The person that we've been impersonating this whole time? So, you're the one who killed my men. The pretender who wants to be the blade. You must be the pirate who's too scared to use his name. I'm the red blade, you worm. The real red blade. And you've got one chance to explain yourself before I burn a hole through your head. Prove that you're the real blade. Then we'll talk. Ha! Huh. You've got guts, kid. It's almost too bad that I have to kill you. You and me, we're getting good. Now I can start modifying my rifle even more.
What's funny is you don't even need the workbench for this. Okay. Hold on. Wrong button. I've only got one tuning. I hope to get more at some point, but this is the only one I've got here. The only weapon tuning I've got. So, I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Don't have a barrel. I'll have to go get one on the fleet, I guess. But now, the weapon is better. And you can see the effect there. Plus, with the... Uh, the gold core crystal that I put there, you can even see the uh, gold appearance there. Okay, so I am going to cut it off here and do these heroics here on Hada before we head to the fleet. And when we return, we will be hopping onto the Black Talon, and I'll show you the light side version of that. Stay tuned. <laughs>